So guys, today back from a video on the channel today. We're here for the new Castle United vs Leicester City predicted team. This video is obviously going out on Christmas Eve. Christmas Day is tomorrow, so I hope everyone has a great Christmas Day. From from being seen, everyone on the channel, the subscribers, everyone. Hope you all have a, a great, great day. Anyways, massive game on Boxing Day. Back with Premier League action. Honestly, I cannot wait. Let's get in the video now. Make sure you leave a like, boys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It would be not if you could do so. Anyways, let's get in the video now. Let's look at my predicted team for the game versus Leicester. So, this is my predicted team for the game versus Leicester. And we'll go through the changes from our game against Bournemouth from bottom to top. Defence stays the same for me. Nick Pope obviously will start in goal. Obviously, if you play FIFA 23, um, he's got a showdown card where if Newcastle win you'll get a plus two upgrade obviously I've done him and um, but hopefully that he hopefully he'll get that right back captain Trippier centre back Sean Botman Botman's looked unreal recently he was so good against Bournemouth like he was unstoppable and left back Dan Byrne in the midfield I've run Bruno Joe Linton back into the midfield with Sean Longstaff I've dropped Willock I thought Willock was quite poor against Bournemouth and he got subbed off in like the 55th minute for Maximin so I can see why and he, he, he has played a lot of football this season with the break or not I think he's played pretty much every game this season so I give him a bit of a rest and I think Longstaff's been performing better than Willock if if it was the other way round, will it start with a long staff? But for me, you can't drop so long staff at the minute. He's probably playing his best football he's ever played as a as a footballer. In the attack, um, I mentioned Maxi in the preview. I'll go through him: Maxi, Almond, and Callum Wilson. The reason why I've started Alison Maxi in one, I think he changed the game against Bournemouth. He really came on and was just so much more direct. We were trying to to pass the ball and 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 look for that like look at escape and just. Get in through one on one where Maxi was just just driving, or driving, or driving forward and causing the def um, defensive problems for Bournemouth. For me, he should start. Um, hopefully, Miggy can get back with the goals. He was a little bit poor against them. Um, Bournemouth didn't really do much, so hopefully, he can get back to to, to what we're seeing. Hopefully, we're not getting the old Allen one back. We can keep the new one where he was scoring goals week in week out. And Callum Wilson up front. I think it's too early for Isaac. I don't think Isaac will probably be back for probably Sheffield Wednesday. Maybe it's not even Sheffield Wednesday. We, we need to say Isaac play. It feels like we haven't even got him. He's played three or four games for Newcastle. We need to see what we then hopefully he can he, he can do something. But Callum Wilson starts up front. He, he scored a goal against Bournemouth, got disallowed, and then obviously got the, well it was he was there for when the own goal was um scored for us. So he, he done well against Bournemouth and hopefully he can score again in the Premier League. But that is my predict the team. Make sure you leave a like, boy, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you all have a great Christmas as it is tomorrow. Hopefully you all have a good one. See you all for the game on Monday, Boxing Day. Hopefully we can pick up three points. How are the fucking lads?